Hi there, Miguel. Hi. How's it going, man? How are you? Fine, I think. I, I have been trying to get this to 100%. Also, I can't find a, how to get the right answer for two <laughs> questions. And two that's questions. Okay. That's okay. Uh, can you do my favor? Um, can you share right now in the group? If you have any, uh, you know, if you have any handy, could you please share in the group the link from the the, the link at uh, the YouTube link, you know, the playlist. Oh, so let me find it first. Okay, then I'll do it. Don't don't worry. If you don't have any handy, I'll I'll do it. So that's everything, man. Fine, I think. Wow. So, uh, let's see, Lydia, welcome, Lydia. Nice to see you. I know that you're busy, Lydia, so it's okay. Hold on. There it is. Who is the person asking for for help in the platform? Never. That's David, right? Isn't it David? Not really. That with names. I don't know. I'm gonna know. But I want to share the link to the platform because that's where you can find that. I just sent the link to the platform. Oh, you sent it? Okay. I didn't write anything. Hold on a second. Okay. All right, very good, guys. So, uh, thank you for being here, man, and thank you for sending me the the the, the playlist there, uh, Miguel. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what happened to the other guys here. So, what else, man? What's good? Have you worked on on? Have you have you kept on working on your video game? More or less. Actually, I ha I'm having a little bit of a, how was it, uh, sort of a writer's block, but it's a dev block. Sort of a it's what? Writer's block. Okay. Because and I, and I what's, what's the plan? I can't think of the, how do you say, the design that I'm intending to use for the characters so. okay all right so what are you gonna do about it well what are you gonna do for designing now i'm going to start looking for 
random stuff and till I can find something that I can well get ideas from. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. I think that's 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 uh, so interesting, man. But you should focus on something that you will do for real this time around, you know, mm -hmm. like something that, something you, that you, you really, really, really want to finish. All right. Hey, David, welcome back, David. Nice to see you once again. Hello, good evening. Good evening, David. What's up? Where have you been? <laughs> I was very busy, but finally I'm here. <laughs> All right. Very good. Um, so listen, uh, if you know our, our friends here want to give you the answer, that's that's okay. But uh, I just wanted to say you can find all the answers. We go through the answers every day in class, okay? So you can find them uh, the following day. Remember, David, and everybody, guys, uh, that you please take the time to watch the class. If you don't have time to join the class, watch it because that's where you find the answers, right? Uh, you might be able to understand that we cannot go back to previous topics because of one person, right? Okay. Uh, so, so please watch the class guys because that's that's what we uploaded, right? So you can, if you have issues like that, right? Sometimes I understand that we cannot join the class, but then you know we do that extra job of uploading uploading the the class so you can watch it, all right? And we do it like okay. we do it the exact same day, David. So, so you can watch. Uh, uh, I think section three. Section three was discussed in the third in the third week, right? So you can go, you know, week by week, right? So so lesson one to four, it's first week, then five to eight, that's second week, and so on. Got it? Okay, so it got might it. be easier for you to find it. All right. Very good. How so how's everything going, David? Aside from that, how's work? Uh, yeah, but everything's okay. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, which parts of the which parts? Let's we can have well, let's do something if you want, right? Uh, since we're waiting for more people, Ellie, welcome, Ellie. Nice to see you. Uh, are you missing just that section or are you missing nice see more? You. David, are you missing? Are you missing only that section or are you missing more than that? The last section, number four. Oh, okay. I thought it was number three. Okay, number four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, number four, we saw that yesterday. Okay, all right. So, yeah, the class was uploaded too, but here are the answers if you want to see them. Right quick, take a screenshot. Got it. Oh, what happened to this one? All right, this. Okay. See? All right. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe an extra space. It's funny, you know, it's the answer from the platform. And it's, <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, there you go. It was the period at the end, probably. All right, no, so did you take a screenshot, David? Yeah, but. It's not this one? Let me check. Let me check. Uh, The first one, please. The first one. This is the first one. First, uh, the number one, two, and three. You mean this? Yeah. Okay. Okay, got it. All right, man. Good job. Thank you. All right, sounds good. You're welcome, man. All right. Um. So, guys, good job, guys. Thank you for coming. So, it is our second to last class of the year, guys. All right. Uh, so, we're almost done with this. All right, so let's work on the listening exercise, guys. Let's take care of the platform, and we're gonna go through the topics of um, we're gonna go through the topics of the final exam. Okay, remember that the final exam you have to do the final exam alone, but we're gonna go through that. All right, if you have not finished the listening exercise, guys, let's go ahead and finish it. But I think you have, right? Miguel, David, Eli, Lydia, have you finished the listening exercise? Yeah. Yes. Okay, Miguel. Yes. Okay. Very yeah. good. All right, so in that case, all right, we're going to skip that part. Then we're going to talk about mixed conditionals. So, guys, when you hear the word mix, what do you think about? A cocktail. <laughs> okay, very good, right? A cocktail, right? 
All right, when you hear the, the, the you know, when you hear the, the word mixed, you think about a cocktail. Very good. So in that case, let me ask you something else. So why, how many conditionals do you know? Miguel, how many, what, what type of conditionals do you know? I will know because I'm really bad at remembering the names that they have, but I think quite a few. The most common. Okay, ah, the most common one, huh? So what are what are the most common ones? I think it's really I mean, cool. They're all common. Good. Okay, all right, no, but those okay, all right. Those are models, right? Those are not conditionals. What is oh, conditional. The first, uh, zero, first, second, and the third, I don't remember. Very good, okay. <laughs> zero, first, second, third conditional, and then we have mixed conditionals, okay? All right, it's nothing otherworldly, David and Miguel and, 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 uh, and Ellie. It's nothing otherworldly, okay? So let's see, guys. Let's see what we use third conditional for. David, according to what you can see right now, what do we use third conditional for? I mean, uh, mixed conditional for, sorry. Uh, I'm not very sure. When you talk... All right, let's take a look at the example here. I think it's when you're talking of hypothetical or something like that. Okay, all right. Um, what do you think, Miguel? It, it's actually here, guys. If you can oh. see that screen, yeah. Uh -huh. So what do you think, Miguel? <laughs> and, uh, uh, and what do I say? An event, an event that didn't happen and what effects would it have in the present if it had happened? Okay. All right, very good, guys. So we use it for talking about hypothetic, hypothetical situations, okay? hypothetical situations in the past that have effects in the present. Now, why is this called a mixed condition? What are the parts? Let me ask you this, guys. In the first sentence, okay, let's read it. And I'll give you guys one minute to tell me, all right? Let's read the two sentences, okay? And I'll give you one minute to tell me which conditionals do you see here? Which parts of which conditionals do you see here? All right, Miguel, David, Ellie. I right. see would and have. Okay, would and have. But what, what, what is that? What part of that, what condition is that? It is the second conditional. Very good. Okay, would and have would be from the second conditional. Very second. good. Uh, what else? What else do we have? So is this a second conditional? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ellie, what do you think, Ellie? <laughs> Hello, teacher. I'm um. Mm. What do you think? Is this a second conditional? Pretty busy right now. Um, oh, I'm okay. going to try to listen to you. Okay. Just try. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you. Yeah. Right, okay. So, so, Miguel, Miguel, is this a second conditional, Miguel? Um, I think. Yes, both so, are second conditional. Okay. Second yeah, you think that they're both second conditionals. Okay. All right. Do we bet? <laughs> do we bet $20 on it? If it is not the second conditional, would you be willing to invite to Pollo Campero? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, right? Very good, guys. So, Come on. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what is the structure for a second conditional? Let's talk about second conditional, right? So let's take a look at it again. And second conditional. Take a look at your notes, okay? You should have notes. All right. So give me a sentence in second conditional, David. Uh, <laughs> let me think. All right, meanwhile, what you think, David? Miguel, give me a sentence in second conditional. Uh, you can use Google, guys. If you don't have it in your notebook, you can use Google to just, you know, search for second conditional and then. All right, uh, so let's go, Miguel. If I have a thought of that. Uh... If I have what? If I had thought 
of an example? Oh, uh, if I have no. thought. Yes, thought. Thought. There will be thought. thought. Uh -huh. But if I have thought an of an example, uh huh? I won't be given this sentence. I would. I wouldn't or I would? Wouldn't. Be giving these examples, you mean? Or, or these sentences, is. whatever, right? Just not to be redundant sentences. Okay. Is this a second conditional? All right, David, let's see what you got, David. <laughs> uh, I'm not very sure. Would be. Go ahead and Google, Miguel. If I were. If I were a superhero, very good. If I were a I superhero, will, I would like to be. I would be. Oh, what? I would be. Who? Spider Man? <laughs> I would be Spider Man. Okay. Hey, is it true, guys, that we're going to have a movie regarding the multiverse of Spider Man? Yeah. Spider Verse? Yeah, there's going to be Spider Verse. Is it, uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right, very good, guys. All right, that's that's a, that's a talk for later. Okay, very good. So if I said, guys, if I were a superhero, I would be Spider Man. All right, what what do you think now? Thank you, Miguel. Yes, that this is a second conditional, Miguel. Now let's analyze this. What is the difference between this example, all right, the first example that we have from the platform, and the different and, and the example that we got down below? What is the difference? I don't know. Come on, take a look at it. Take a look at the structure, right? Take a look at the structure. And tell me um, what's different. One is everything in the present and the other actually speak of oh, yes, in the past. Past that affects the present. Like, can you break it down? How how would you see the how would you break down the structure of this? If I were a superhero, I would be Superman. So how would you break it down grammatically? Can you yeah. come up with an example? What? First sentence is in past, but the second okay. sentence is so, in uh, present. Give me the past. give me give me the give me the structure. Uh, if plus subject plus okay. Uh, very. Past perfect? No, past simple. Very, very simple past. Uh -huh. Very simple past. A complement. Plus complement. <laughs> Plus complement. Uh -huh. um, subject plus. Subject plus. Model. Model. The model in the past, right? Uh -huh. Yes. A plus verb. Plus verb. Base form and okay. complement. Okay. All right. Well, we have we have an, an an adverb before the verb, but it's okay, right? Plus verb in base form. Very good. Uh, oh. Hold on. Plus model. Okay, right. So then we have. So then we have uh, the verb, base form, right? Yeah. Plus compliment. Plus compliment. Good job. All right. Good job. A little for David. Good job, David. All right. So check this out. All right. Yes, this is the structure of a second conditional. Now, read the first example and tell me if we have the same structure. So, Miguel, do we have, do we start the if clause with an if word? Yes or not? Yes. Yes, right. We have. We have the if word here. All right, very good. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, do we have a subject after that? Mm -hmm. We have a subject. Yes. Right. Do we have a verb in simple past? Yes. No. We have, no, it we is have, not. have that. It doesn't serve as a verb in this case. Okay. All right. Okay. There you yes. go. So what is this, guys? Hadn't been. Past perfect. Very good, okay, it is past perfect, guys, okay. So, once again, I will ask you, is this a second conditional sentence? 
No third condition. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. That's very good, man. Okay. What is the structure of a third conditional sentence? It is okay. a if plus if plus past perfect. Okay. All right. Let's use. What happened perfect. with the subject? <laughs> oh, because in past perfect, what is the structure for past perfect? If past perfect, subject perfect. plus. Has yes. uh -huh. verb in past participle, right? <clears throat> yes. I just I just don't want to write down the whole thing here. If you know what past what the perfect what the past perfect sentence is, then you should know that you got a subject, the auxiliary had, and the verb in past participle. Got it? Got it. All right, that that's why I'm putting it like that. Okay, but yeah, then you got the subject and so on. All right, if plus past perfect, right? Which also includes a complement. All right, now, what about the second part? What is the second part of the third conditional? But this first one. Uh huh. Uh, verb in past participle. Verb in past participle. Are you yeah. sure? So yeah. after, after you said, if I had gone to the supermarket, I, see, I think that you're getting confused with oh, past no. perfect, man. Past perfect, I'm not talking about the verb, I'm talking about the whole sentence. What is the what is the structure of past perfect? Subject plus had plus verb in past participle plus complement. Okay. When yeah. I when I write, when I type in past perfect, I am referring to all of this, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, got it. Very good. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, that's okay, right? So if plus past perfect plus what? Okay. Uh huh. Uh, the second part is subject, mm -hmm. uh, model. Okay. Uh, plus verb. Plus verb in what? Uh, I think it's in base four. Is that from a third conditional? Uh. Yeah, because the third condition has a model. All right, we would have, you need to use have. Ah. Uh, you have, and you need a verb in past participle. Past participle. Right? Okay. And then, then you need um, complement. complement. Got it? Got it. So now, guys, according to, so let me ask you something now, okay? Now that we know that, okay? If you take a look at the first sentence, if we hadn't gone, if we hadn't been so nice, from what condition is that? Miguel? <clears throat> That's third, I think. That is. I don't know, third of or second conditional. What is it, David? Take a look at the structure. The structure is on the structure is on, on the screen, guys. So if we hadn't yeah, been so nice. It's, it's, right, it's that, a third conditional. That's part of a yeah. third conditional. All right. What about what about the second clause, guys? The second is a second conditional. Very good. Okay, it's part of the second conditional. Now, what two conditionals are we mixing here? Third and second conditional. Third and second Mix. conditional, all right? <laughs> now we're mixing, guys, third and second conditional. Therefore, you got the cocktail, got it? Very good, <laughs> okay. all right, is that, is that clear, Miguel? Mm -hmm. Now, what is the difference, guys? Okay, so let's talk, let's talk about the difference. If it hadn't been so nice, we would, we would still have our cash. Now I could have I could have said if we hadn't been so nice we wouldn't have been awarded the best you know the Nobel Prize we wouldn't have been awarded the best, the Nobel Prize are we talking about a situation that has effects in the present or is is it something that finished in the, in the past if I use third conditional guys am I talking about an event that happened in the past and finished in the past. David, Miguel? Uh, when you start. Mm. 
Yes. But the first, it is in past. Okay, the first one is. It's in okay. past, and the second one is in present. No, 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 no. But if I say, okay, if I say this, guys, if I had them bought, well, actually, if I had, let's say, if I had bought pupusas, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't have been so hungry. I wouldn't have been so hungry yesterday. Now, guys, let me ask you something. Can you still do something about this action? Oh, let's, let me. Oh, damn. All right. Let me move this around. So if I said, if I had bought pupusas, I wouldn't have been so hungry yesterday. So hungry yesterday. Um, is there something that you can do about this action? Now, nowadays, yes or not? Uh, everything is in past. No, right? Everything is in the past. Okay, you cannot go back in time, right? When did this happen? In when did this happen? In the happen? past. Very good, but when? Uh, yesterday. <laughs> it happened yesterday, right? When did I feel hungry? Yesterday. Very good. Okay. All right. Am I talking? Does this have anything to do regarding the present? No. No, right? But what no. if I did this? Let's try to use the third conditional part, okay? The first part in third conditional. If I had bought pupusas, I wouldn't feel uh, I, I wouldn't feel so hungry. Huh, what about now, guys? Yes, is Do I feel hungry right now? Yeah. <laughs> yes, very good. Yeah. Okay, I feel hungry right now. Very good. So, basically, guys, I'm talking about a regret, but I can still solve that. So, can I still can I still solve this issue? Can I still not feel hungry? Can I do something in order for me not to feel hungry? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Yes, okay. Now, do you understand the difference now? Between yes. a third conditional and a mixed conditional, yes? Yes. Very good. Okay, so it has a mixed conditional has to fix when? But always uh, hypothetical events, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's hypothetical. I mean, mm -hmm. because you did not buy pupusas, right? Got yeah. it? That is hypothetical because in reality, you did not buy them. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, all right, but do we understand the difference in regards of the time? Yeah. Fast, okay, very good. All right, so number two. Example number two. Uh, help me read, uh, Miguel. If someone had broken into your room, you would probably still be trying to get home. Very good, okay. Now, this is actually a very hypothetical situation, but... It has effects in the present, right? So let me ask you something, guys. If I said if someone had broken into your room, you uh, first of all, does does that mean that somebody broke into that person's room? Yes or not? Mm -hmm. No, right? That's no. hypothetical. Yeah. You would probably still be trying to get home. Okay, so if I say you would probably still be trying to get home, is that something? Am I talking about the present now? Yes or not? Yes. Yes. You, you're, st you're talking about the present, okay? But it is a hypothetical situation, okay? Now, if I if I said if I had bought pupusas, I wouldn't feel so hungry. This right now, this right here is not a hypothetical situation anymore, but we're talking about the present, okay? So you can use it for that too. Got it? Got it. All right. So, so about <laughs> hypothetical events in the past that have effects on the present. All right, very good. Is it clear, guys? Very clear. Is it very clear? David, did you understand 100%? Yes. What is it? 95. 35, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's 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 have more examples. We're gonna have more examples and then you're gonna, you're gonna give me your own examples, don't worry. All okay. right, guys, so uh, what is the gist of it, okay? Uh, write this down. You need an if clause, okay? So an if clause is plus resolve clause, right? In the example before, guys, okay, if I had bought pupusas, I wouldn't feel so hungry right now. What is the if clause? 
If I had both pupusas. Very good. If I had both pupusas, game. What is the result of not buying pupusas, David? Hmm. One more time. <laughs> okay. If I had both pupusas, I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel so hungry. So hungry right now. Uh, it is a hypothetical situation, but. So, uh, this... what is the no? What, what my question is: What is the result clause? Oh. Right? We know that if I had Bob Pupusas, is the if clause, right? But what is the result clause? Uh, the second one. And what is the second one? Uh, you would, you would feel hungry. <laughs> okay, that you uh, that I, I would feel hungry. Okay, hungry. Uh -huh. Very good. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. Is that clear? Very good. Yes. All right, help me read, Miguel. Past and present are mixed. Past and present are mixed to talk about hypothetical situations. If she had said, had saved so little money, she will be able to afford a new card now. A new card now. I said card. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, go, continue. If you had made reservations, you won't be looking for a hotel now. Very good, okay. All right, so, all right. We use it for talking about a hypothetical situation. Now, guys, again, you could say, you know, if I had Bob and Puss, I wouldn't feel so hungry right now. All right, that is not, you feel hungry, so that is not hypothetical. But that's an action, you know, that's a hypothetical action in the past, but has that's what I want you to understand. Not the whole situation might be hypothetical, okay? It has effects on, in the present, okay? That's that's the point, okay? That at the end of the day, you're going to come up with something that will have effects in the present, all right? So if she hadn't saved so little money, she would have been able to afford a new car now. All right, what is the hypothetical situation here, um, David? Uh, if she hadn't saved so little money. Very good. If she hadn't saved so little money, right? And what is the effect that she, what is the effect that that, that created? She will be able to afford a new card now. Okay, the effect is that she doesn't have a car. Got it? Oh, uh huh. Got it? All right, very good. Or she, she, ha she can't pay a new card. She, <clears throat> right, she can't pay for a new car. Got it? So this is the effect that he has. Very good. Uh, next example. If you had made reservations, you wouldn't be looking for a hotel now. Now, what is the hypothetical? What situation did not happen? Hypothetical is something that actually didn't happen. So what is the situation that didn't happen here, Miguel? Making the reservation. Making the reservation, right? No reservation. So reality, All right? Reality, no reservation. No All right. Reality in the result clause. What is the reality in the result clause, David? Uh, I'm looking for a hotel. No, but what is okay? Minimize it, okay? Simplify it. Oh, Simplify okay. it, huh? So what is it? Looking for a hotel? Very good, okay. You wouldn't be no, looking for a hotel, but... okay? What, what, but what is the reality? How do you say that? She, right, or this person, whatever, the person is looking, right, still looking, right, still looking for a hotel. Got it? Okay. So there we are. So this, what you, so basically this is it, you know, this is, this is what you're trying to say with the conditional. You're saying, hey, you didn't make a reservation, so you're still looking for a hotel. Hey, because of this, right? Because, because the, this reason, all right, because this reason, write it down, David and Miguel, you should be writing this up. Because of this reason, right, you're getting this result. Got it, David? Got it, Miguel? Yes. All right. So, hey, there is a reason, right? There is a, a, a hypothetical well, there's a reason which we're going to turn into a hypothetical 
sentence in the past and then you know you're getting this result all right the result is very real though all right very good okay very good guys any questions so far so far so good so far so good so far so good, so far, so good. awesome okay very good so let's talk about let's talk about uh the next example okay <laughs> let's use the same example okay I, I mean let's use the same technique miguel help me read if Anna hasn't forgotten her passport, she will be on the plane right now. Very good. If Anna hadn't forgotten her password, her passport, she would be on the plane right now. Now, talking about this, guys. All right. Let's see. Uh, David. All right. What is... Let's talk about the cause, okay? What is, what is the, the... In real life, what is... What is the cause here? What's going on here? David? She, she forgot her passport. Very good. Okay. She forgot her passport. Very good. Right? All right. Good job. And what is the result, David? <laughs> she... Uh... Basically, all you have to do is... You have to tell, you, you have to be able to tell what the second clause, and by clause I mean what's after the comma, right? All right, what the result clause that tries to say, okay? So what is the second clause saying? What is the result? So she forgot her password, okay? If Anna hadn't forgotten her password, that means that she forgot it. So what is the result? Hmm. She is on the plane. Okay, you're no. saying that she is on the plane. No, 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 no. Is she on the plane or is she not on the plane? She not. All right, that's the result, man. She's not, right? On the mm -hmm. plane, She's right? She's not on the plane. Got it? That is the result, okay? Mm -hmm. Very good. Um. Miguel, mm -hmm. all right, let's talk about the first clause. What is the cause? Lack of organization. <laughs> okay, lack. Okay, Anna <laughs> wasn't <laughs> organized, okay? You're, you're a very complex human being, man. It is correct, Miguel. It's just funny because your vocabulary is very, very smart. All right, uh, all right. So what is the, the result then? Inability to find the keys. Okay. <laughs> All right. She. She can't find the keys. <laughs> okay. She can find the keys. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Inability to find the keys. Man, you're a computer, man. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Awesome, Miguel. Awesome. That's awesome. You're very smart, man. All right. Is it clear, David? Yeah. From 30%, yes. how much, what, what's the percentage that you got now? How much have you loaded? <laughs> 99. <laughs> loading, right? Like this, loading, right? So you got 39, so you're like here, 39%. <laughs> All no. right, very good. All right, very good. All right, that's, that's okay. All right, just kidding. Okay, any questions here, guys? You feel like you're ready to get a 10? All right, very good. So let's do something, guys, okay? Before we do that, uh, do my favorite take, write this down in your novel, okay? Uh, David, let's go. Tell me what it says there. What is what? Tell me what it says there. Uh, in a mixed conditional sentence, the time of the event, event or situation. No, not event, event. Event, event, okay. or the situation in the if clause can be different from the time of the result of the event or situation. Very good, okay. So, in a mixed condition, all the same is the time of the event or situation in the if clause can be different from the time of the result in the event or situation, right? All right, um, we were combining two times, guys, okay? Two different time uh, timelines, okay? We we're combining the past and the present, all right? So before we do the knowledge check 4.6, guys, I want you to get some practice, okay? 
So what do you think, guys, you would be using this, you know, conditional for in real life? What do you think? All right, question, guys. Okay, the question is going to be, what is your biggest, well, actually, not what is, what are, right? What are your biggest regrets, okay? Got it? So what are your biggest regrets? Oh, you know what? My biggest regret is not having, uh, not having traveled to Spain because if I had traveled to Spain, I would feel really happy today, you know, nowadays. Got it? Oh, not, uh, if I had, if I had created my video game already, I wouldn't be thinking about you know, creating it anymore. If I had created my video game already, I would. Alright, if I had if I had finished my video game already, uh, I would be rich by now. See, got it, got it, got it, uh, David. Yes. Alright, I could also say notice, guys, that uh, it's not only you know, you you could mix it with a you know with a present continuous form, right? Uh, David says, if I had watched the last class, I would understand better this moment. In this moment, okay? Very good. Well, you got it, David. You understood. See? That's why you have to come yeah. to class, man, because you understand, but you don't come to class. Remember, it's hypothetical. <laughs> hypothetical, right? Very good. Yeah. All right, so let's practice, guys. Okay, let's go. Uh, I'll give you 10 minutes to practice that. Miguel, David, let's go. Um, hey. Oh, and Alejandro, welcome, Alejandro. Okay, hold on. We got Alejandro. Hey, what happened to Ellie? Hello, Alejandro. Welcome. Uh, so Alejandro, we're practicing mixed conditionals now. Please join the conversation. Please ask Alejandro, guys, and let's get started. All right, let's go. So the question: What are your biggest regrets? And by the way, guys, you can start with having, right? Having plus past participle. Or not having plus past participle. Okay. All right. Let's go, guys. Mm, my biggest regret is not having practiced for many years my ability to grow. If I had, if I had practiced. By now, I will be doing fairly well at the release of my growing skills. <laughs> if I... <laughs> uh, let me think. If I had studied English before, I would be... No, I will work in a call center or something like that. <laughs> Oh. How about I... you, Marvin? Huh? Is she still on the test? No wonder. No, I'm here. Um, oh. If I had been um, working during the day, I wouldn't be feeling sleepy right now. Yeah, that's good, okay. All right, I'll say, what was your example again, Alejandra? Mm, I forgot already. If I... If I... If I had... Um, if I had done... If I had done... Um, my exercises mm -hmm. earlier, I would have mm, understood better. Very good, okay, I would have understood better. Okay, but is that a, a third conditional or a mixed conditional, guys? Good, good example, Alejandra, you understand third conditionals, but what do you think, guys, is that a third conditional or a mixed conditional? Is that their conditional? 
It is okay. a third conditional, right? So mm -hmm. let's go ahead. So Alejandro, you have to use the second part of the sentence has to be the part of a second conditional. So you can say, if I had bought pupusas yesterday, or well, actually, if I had bought pupusas this afternoon, I wouldn't feel hungry right now. See? Got it? So if I had, uh, if I had taken her to dinner, she would have, she wouldn't have left me. See? That's, uh, well, actually, I'm sorry, that's a third condition. She would, she would feel happy right now. See? So if I had taken her to dinner, that's that's uh, the if clause of a third conditional. She would feel happy, right? That's a, that's a result clause of a second conditional. Got it? So that's what we've been uh, learning right now, Alejandro. So let's have another example, okay? So listen to the examples from Miguel and David, and then you come up with your own example, right? Let's go. Okay. If I have bought a new TV, I will watch a lot of movies on Friday night. Go ahead, Miguel. <laughs> if I could think of something proper right now, I will be saying it this moment. Go ahead. If I had, if I have taken the dog for a walk, I would, I would have, I would have been, I would have be home already. No? Yes. Mm. Yes, right. That's correct. I think. <laughs> will, I will. Another example? Yeah, I can think of one right now. Well, if I have finished to read Harry Potter book, I will get much more vocabulary in English. <laughs> Harry Potter? <laughs> huh? That's a nice one. If I had, if I could, no. If I had acquired the ability to understand Shakespearean, I would have finished the Shakespeare book that I have over here by now. <laughs> that's good. No, that's a sequence. I think probably. <laughs> Go ahead, Alejandra. If I had, um, if I have, if I had um, worked on on the computer last night, I would be free by now. Okay. All right, now let's continue with something else, guys, okay? I needed to give me the regrets, okay, the regrets that you have, but but remember that in real life, guys, you're not talking in sentences, right? You don't say, how are you doing? Oh, I am good because I ate dinner, all right? You don't say something like that, right? And so don't give sentences, okay? You know what? One of the biggest regrets that I have is uh, not having, I don't know if you haven't finished the university, right? Not having finished the university because... I would be in a better position now. Uh, if I had finished the university, I would be in a better position now. Uh, the reason why I didn't finish the university is because this and this and this and that. Got it? So okay. just talk with fluency, right? I don't want just sentences. Just talk with fluency, right? Let's go. 
Go ahead, Alejandra. <laughs> Ladies first. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> You're right, Miguel. <laughs> if I had uh, with wish, right? I wish I would have completed my Korean lessons. So I would be already done with that new language. Okay, very good. David, let's go. All right, but remember, add, add fluency, guys, okay? Add fluency. Uh -huh. Okay, let me think. <laughs> um... Go ahead. Uh, if I have finished the read Harry Potter book, I will get much more vocabulary in English because in this moment, uh, sometimes it's kind of difficult to be speak with fluency. <laughs> Something like that. It's, it's kind of difficult for me to speak with fluency. Go ahead, repeat that. It's kind of difficult for me to speak with fluency. It's kind of difficult for me to speak. To speak. Uh huh. To. To speak to with speak, fluency. Oh, to speak with fluency. Because, mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> uh, because I have, no, I, because I need more vocabulary in English or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have ideas. Hmm. As for, oh. as for my regret, one of my biggest regrets right now is, well, if I had some regret to speak up right now, I would probably give it, but since I, can, I don't have any big, big regrets right now, I can't think of anything. Your mic's up. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry, I was muted. <laughs> okay. Good job. Plus for Miguel, plus for David, and plus for Alejandro, guys. Good job. All right. Good job. All right, guys. So let's complete, guys, uh, 4.6 before we go. You're free to complete the listening exercise and pretty much the whole platform if you want tomorrow, guys. Uh, so let's work on that right now. Remember, tomorrow is going to be absolutely important for you to connect, okay? So everybody needs to be connected early because tomorrow is the last day that we are together. Uh, yeah. at least here, right? Maybe we'll, <laughs> we'll, maybe, maybe we'll run into each other uh, if we go to La Taverna or something like that, okay? But other than that, <laughs> other than that it's the last day together. All right, no, uh, so I'm saying that, guys, because uh, we're going to go over the the final exam. Obviously, I'm not going to give you the final, uh, the answers, right? So, complete it, guys, complete the final exam today, all right, or just complete it, guys, tomorrow morning if you want. Uh, we're going to go through the answers. Tomorrow we're going to go through the explanation of each of the topics so you can have a better understanding on how to answer them, okay? Got it? Okay. Got it. Very good, guys. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and finish 4.6, 4.7. Uh, well, 4.6, 4.7 if you have time, guys. If not, then let's just leave it there. All right, but let's finish 4.6, okay? Um, let's go, guys. Share your screen, Miguel or David or Alejandra, whoever wants to share it, and then let's work. Okay, let's go. It's taking a while to go. To go. So I already have complete, this complete. Can you see my screen? Oh, I'm sorry, again, I was muted. Uh, so let's complete, yes, I can see your screen, okay. All right, so let's go through those answers, okay. So if you have not, if you have, if you have anybody here who has not, who has not completed, you know, the exercises, let's go ahead and complete them, okay? All right, so let's scroll down a little bit. 
Okay, number four. Number so number four. four um, uh, what's wrong there, guys? What do you think? I had, uh, I spent a long time looking for the answer the answer for this one, and well, seeing the in the class today, I saw the solution in in one of the examples. Okay. In this case, okay. it's wouldn't be. Wouldn't what? Wouldn't be shopping. Wouldn't? Wouldn't be shopping. Okay, very good. Wouldn't be shopping. Yep. Why, I mean, guys? Okay. Why? Uh huh. <laughs> why? <laughs> no, I know why, but but I I explained this to you too. Shopping. Yeah, shopping. Oh. The ing form of shopping. Yes, but yeah. So remember, guys, we mentioned this. Do you remember the part that said, guys, take note? Do you remember that I told you today, guys, take note? And there was a screen that said, take note. Yes. Oh, I, what is that note, David? Did you write it Let down? Let me check. All right. Let me check. I took a picture. Of, uh, All right. Sounds good. Take note in a mixed conditional sentence, the time of the event. event. Right? Event. Uh, yes, event. <laughs> or uh -huh. situation in the, in the if clause can be different from the time of the result. Or the event or situation. Very good. Okay. So remember, guys, I told you, you can use the continuous form, right? So yes. you can say, I, I wouldn't be shopping, right? So you can use the structure of a present continuous form, right? So I wouldn't be shopping. All right. And that's it. All right. Now, why? Because if you said, I wouldn't shop for new clothes now, right? Uh, you're, you're actually talking about, continu about a continuous action. Okay. So good job. Good job, right? So, do we have a question here? No. All Not right. so far. So, tomorrow, guys, I know, guys, that you're working. So, thank you very much for getting, you know, for connecting. Uh, please finish the, the exam today. I will help you with the exam tomorrow. Got it? But you need to be in the class. Uh, and also, okay. we have more practice to tomorrow. So, Tomorrow, uh, I know that you might be coming late because of your work, but at least tomorrow, guys, let's try to be as early as possible, so we can, so we can finish. Okay, David, please let's let's be early. All right, just if you're working, just connect from your cell phone, and then I will help you with the answers on the final exam. All right. Okay, Other than okay. that, guys, uh, remember to send me the screenshot of your completion. Everything has to be completed so far, including the platform, I mean, including the final exam. So let's let's just do that, guys. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you, Alejandra. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Miguel, for coming. You have a beautiful Thank you. night. Goodbye, guys. Take care. Have a good night. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Bye-bye.